Here are some troubleshooting steps you can take if you're having problems with sound on your Windows 10 device. So first thing, come down to the speaker icon on the taskbar. Simply click on it and just make sure there isn't an X to say that it's muted. So providing that's okay, we'll go to the next step, which is to again come to the speaker icon, this time right click on it and go to playback devices. Once playback devices are up, you will see a list of speakers which are used by the system. We want to make sure that the speaker is, in my case, Realtek, and I will set that as default. You may have different speakers, so you can, if you like, select each one and set as default. If you want to test the sound of each speaker, you can come across to this sounds icon, uh, tab, sorry, and just select the sound and click test. If it's still an issue after that, the next step would be to try the troubleshooter. Um, we come back down to the speaker icon, right click it, and we go to troubleshoot sound problems. This will take you through step-by-step -step, um, troubleshooting steps, and uh, we'll hopefully identify the issue and rectify it. If it's still an issue, the next thing to do is to come to device manager. Now, you can get to this from the search window. Just type in device manager. It actually, resides in the control panel so you just click that actually already have it open here um, once inside you go to sound video and game controllers and um, i'm using real tech high definition so what i will do here first thing is right click and update driver so just press that um, here it says search automatically for updated driver so windows will search your computer and the internet for the most current driver. This typically doesn't take too long. And um, the result is here. It says the best drivers for your device are already installed. So we now know the drivers are up to date. Second step from here is to, again, right click on, in my case, Realtek High Definition. And I'm going to uninstall the device. So what I'm doing here is uninstalling the device um, I don't need to delete the software. We know it's the most current, so we're going to leave that in place. It's going to ask me to reboot, or it will ask you to reboot, so let it do that. The good thing with it is, as it's rebooting, Windows recognizes that it has a, uh, a piece of hardware with no software, and it will just reinstall the software for you, so you won't need to reinstall anything. It will come back, and it will be ready. So when it does come back, um, try playing a song or some music, um, or if you don't have that you can again come back to the speaker icon um, go back to playback devices come into sounds and press the sound there so hopefully that will rectify your problem i certainly hope it does um, please share the video if you found it helpful tickle that thumbs up button subscribe because i put out um, helpful videos on a regular basis and thank you very much for watching um leave a note in the comments let me know if uh, one of these fixes worked um, and what you recommend if you have any other suggestions as well thanks again take care have a good day bye